Hey Plus 2, this is Christy, the Rims Plus Stitcher. If you are one of my usual subscribers, hi, hello, welcome back to this channel. If you're brand new, hi, hello, welcome. I am Christy, I'm a cross stitcher, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, and this is my channel where I mostly talk about cross stitch. Today is Thursday, November 18th. Yes, it is. <laughs> I always have to look at the calendar because I don't know what day it is, and there's my uh, Harry Potter calendar with uh, 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 serious black yeah. how you guys doing it's been a few weeks since I last in floss tube I am drinking out of my snow white mug it says even in the morning I'm still the first one of all uh, my husband bought this for me the last time we we're at Disneyland um, I didn't even know who was buying it like I just saw him checking out and I was like what are you getting <laughs> I looked in the bag and this is in there Okay, so as you can tell by the uh, title of this video, this is going to be my whip slash goal parade. For, um, well, I'm putting 2021 on there, but this is going to be my goals for the next two years. Um, if you are one of my subscribers or you see my videos in the past, you know what's going on. If you're brand new to this channel, you have no clue what's going on, let me try to do a recap. Uh, before I get into all that, um, it's going to be a long video. It's going to be an hour long. Um, I'm going to try to speed through it, hopefully, um, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, I, I've done so many takes of this video already. Uh, I, I'm kind of over it and I want to get back to stitching. Okay, so um, I, I will try to keep it under an hour. That That's my goal for this video is to keep it under an hour. That's always subject change because um, I don't. I know. I know. I know. I'm really bad. I tend to to go off and start rambling about other things, and I'm gonna try to stay focused and only talk about cross stitch as much as possible. Um, so that's. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. So if you're brand new, you don't know what's going on. Um, I moved to Japan uh, this past summer. Uh, 2021. My husband's military. You can see his uniforms right there. Um, he's a Marine. He's active duty. Uh, back in December 2020, we got our orders, or he got his orders, um, saying that we're moving to Japan. Uh, when we got that kind of confirmation, we, uh, well, I went onto Facebook and went to a couple of the cross-stitch pages and asked around if anyone's been to Japan, um, lived in Japan, um, know anything about like DMCs and stuff in Japan. A lot of people pointed me to Rolodex Stitches who lived in Japan for a few years. Um, some of the information she gave me was um, they do sell DMCs here. Uh, they're just a little bit harder to find because you know back in the States we got Michaels, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, even Walmart sell DMCs. But here in Japan they don't have any of that. Um, and if they do they don't have all the colors and even if they have the colors it's more expensive. So with all that information, um, I decided to purchase as many uh, skeins as possible before moving out here, and I kind of hoarded <laughs> quite a bit. I do have my DMCs right here, one, two, three, four. Um, those are all my uh, DMCs on bobbins. I have the rest in skeins in a closet in my bedroom. Um, so I'm hoping that's enough to last me three years, and I'm hoping I don't have to go out and buy any. Um, but if I do, uh, I live in Okinawa, which is one of the bigger islands, about two hour flight from mainland Japan. So here there's even less uh, places to shop at for um, crafting stuff. I've only found two locations that sell DMCs. Thankfully, both of them seem to have all the DMCs colors, like just the basic colors. So I didn't see any variegated. I didn't see any metallics, but all the, um, the main solid colors they had. So uh, both locations had all, was it 400 something? Um, however many DMCs now has. Um, but one place is 86 cents per skein and the other one is a dollar per skein, which that is a little bit higher than what I was paying back in the States. Um, so if I need any, I can go and purchase them at those two locations. Um, but I, I, I really don't want to <laughs> because that, 
you know, if you do uh, um, something like Heaven Nurture Designs, all that's going to add up real fast. Um, so I'm trying to do things that hopefully I won't have to spend too much money on. With that being said, um, when we moved here and we started unpacking and we got our household goods and I started opening boxes and totes and trying to figure out how I'm going to set up my craft area. This is a dining room actually. <laughs> so this is my dining table right here. Um, so this is my craft corner. <laughs> um, so I had to try to figure out how I'm going to put everything here and then also have a living space for my family. Um, I started unpacking everything and I started putting all my kits in one box. So this black box normally sits at that empty square right there. And I started putting all the kits in here. Um, I didn't realize I had this many kits. I have a lot of kits. Uh, I think what happened when I lived in Texas is um, we had a four bedroom house. The bedroom downstairs was my craft room. And that, it was kind of a small space. Um, and I had way too much craft. <laughs> so some of the stuff had to be boxed up and put in the garage just to, to get it out, um, to, to make space for other things. Um, so out of sight, out of mind, uh, the um, um, <laughs> lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, because it was out of sight, uh, I forgot how many kits I had. And I went to the store and I purchased more kits as we accidentally do sometimes. <laughs> um, so I somehow accumulated more and more kits um, over the years and um, not realizing I had so many. So now that I'm unpacked, well, we move every three to four years. My husband's been in the military for 13 years. We have never fully unpacked ever. So um, I think this is our eighth home in 13 years. And we've never completely 100% unpacked ever. So, like at one point <laughs> while we're unpacking, we usually say, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. Whatever is in the totes, stay in the totes. And they just go into the storage closet until the next move. Um, so, some of these I did forget that I had because I hadn't seen them so long. Others, um, actually, a week or two weeks ago, I was looking for Thanksgiving decorations and I opened up a tote and I found more kits in there. <laughs> So, um, I'm just really curious on how much more kits I have that I just don't know about yet. So, um, this box has all the kits that are still closed. I haven't opened them yet. I haven't uh, gotten them ready to stitch on it yet. And by ready to stitch on them, that means um, DMCs. Get a DMC here. Um, if they have a little card like that, I usually leave the threads on there. Um, I don't need to put them on thread organizers. I just use that as is. And I'm good to go with that. For other charts, um, I don't know. Here, here we go. For other charts are like this. They're not on any kind of thread organizer or floss or anything like that. Um, I do need to put them on thread organizers. <sighs> This is my thread organizer. I have about a dozen or so of these, maybe more. <laughs> Very good chance I have more. Um, I also have the big blue ones. Uh, this one holds 50, or no, uh, 30 floss. The big ones hold 50 um, floss. So I have quite a few of these. Currently, they're all being used on different uh, whips. Some of them you'll be seeing today. Um, so these, everything in this black box here, I haven't started it, uh, putting them on the floss on organizers. I haven't uh, gridded up the fabric. I did a whole gridding video last month uh, where I talked about my gridding, uh, my gridding style techniques, history, uh, evolution of my gridding. Um, I, I need to grid my, my pieces. Um, so these, I haven't touched yet. I haven't started yet. So I'm I will show you what's in this box. I will show you what my, my goals are for the next two years. But as of right now, I'm not currently stitching on this. Uh, because I need to finish everything else first. So this is actually, I'm referring to it as um, group C. This, I'm referring to it as group B. And this box, I'm referring to it as group A. 
<laughs> let me explain everything in well most of the stuff in this box 100% kitted up or um, it was a kit uh, that I started or I have intentions to start soon so all the fabrics are gridded up all the floss are more or less on thread organizers uh, some of them I have started um, I just need to get on to stitching on them again and finishing them this box I had either I'm actively working on some of them right now or I brought them with me on the plane when I moved to Japan uh, earlier in the year I had a fossil video where I showed my goals for 2021 and I showed all my whips I plan to bring with me on the plane some of them I stitched and finished other ones I didn't even get to but they're all here 100% kitted up um, I didn't put them on thread organizers I left them on the bobbins and um, normally I don't stitch with the, the threads on the bobbins but well, moving to Japan, that's how I had them, and I kind of liked it. <laughs> um, so some of my pieces are now I'm just stitching on the bobbins, not so much thread organizers. But anyways, um, each one of the project bags has um, the threads on the bobbins, and I want to put those bobbins back into my DMC cases. So I need to focus on these and stitch them and, and get those bobbins back. Um... A lot of them they are smaller whips they should take me fairly quickly to do um, I purposely brought those with me in my suitcase and my uh, carry-on on the plane um, because they were small um, I chose whips that had uh, less than 12 colors and were relatively a small uh, whip to do and by small um, this is small <laughs> This one, I started this Friday night last week and finished it on Saturday. Um, this is one of the whips I had with me um, when I traveled to Japan. Um, I did start a little bit. I had the T-O and the D done while we were in quarantine, but I made a mistake on the T and I needed to frog it, but I didn't have the right scissors to, to get into the threads like I like. Um, some of the other scissors, if you're not too careful, it will cut the fabric. So I needed my super pointy scissors, which I didn't have on me. Um, but now that we're here and all my stuff's unpacked, I found those scissors. I was able to frog it properly and stitch on it again. And I finished this all in about a day. This is what I consider small. <laughs> I know it's, it's a little large, but it's not full coverage. Um, this to me is a quick stitch. So... Everything I have in here um, that I had with me while I was in Japan, I consider that quick stitch. And because it's quick stitch, um, I kind of want to hurry up and stitch them and get it over with. So this took me a day to do. That is one finish I have. Um, I'm working on Tinkerbell currently. You can see the light, <laughs> my setup right here. I am doing time lapse videos. I did do a time lapse video that um, I'm currently doing time lapse video on my Tinkerbell. And I have a time lapse video, another piece I want to show you in just a minute. Um, but Tinkerbell, this is what she looks like. I started her yesterday. Um, so currently, um, I completed all that. I just have the legs left to do. Um, after this video, I'm going to go back and finish up the legs. And um, I should be done with it within an hour. It's all back stitching. It's very simple. Um, so the all the legs are back stitching. I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm around the thigh area. Um, part of the knee is already done. I just need to do the calves, the feet, and then there's some half stitches down here, the little pom-poms on her shoes. Um, and that's it. Again, only took me a day's stitch. Um, this piece here, I was working on it. I did refer to it and talk about it in my last Flossu video. My last Flossu video? Either my last Flossu video or the Flossu video before. Um, I did stitch on chapter four. This is uh, Letters from Hogwarts. So I have uh, the, the drinks done. I did Butterbeer, Fire Whiskey, and Giggle Water. And I have all this in time lapse video, um, which I will be uploading next week. 
So this video is already done. It's already edited. I just need to upload it. Um, the This one, I haven't even begun to edit the time loss video, but it's going to come out about a week or two after this one's uploaded. And then Tinkerbell will be about a week or two after um, that one's done. So, yeah, those are some of my finishes. Chapter four, if you are doing Letters from Hogwarts, you know um, I didn't finish it. I didn't fully finish it. Uh, my reason is because I did not kit this project up before I left uh, Texas, before moving to Japan. Um, I, didn't, I don't have the threads to finish this. So I am going to put this on pause for now um, and maybe come back to it within a year or two and see where I'm at. that's a chart. <laughs> and see where I'm at with this. Um, so this is going to go away for now. So those are my, uh, oh wait, I have more whips. Let me go grab my phone real quick. This is how I do everything, by the way. <laughs> I just roll around in this chair. Okay, these two are my mandalas. Um, so these two are my newest purchase from Etsy. I got them a month ago. These are my only exceptions to the rules. Um, where it comes to my DMC stash. <laughs> um, yes, I have a lot of kids to do, but I am a huge Harry Potter fan, like I said in the beginning of this video. Um, I do have a lot of Harry Potter related whips. This is one of my Harry Potter related whips. Um, I have not seen any Harry Potter uh, kits at all. So I don't have any of that. Um, I do have other kits, of course, but uh, whip wise, if I have to go out and purchase uh, a few DMCs to do this, so be it. I will do it. Um, I don't plan to finish this within the next two years. I'll stitch on it when I stitch on it. Um, none of my whips are time sensitive. Um, there's no plans for me to actually finish the big ones, especially this one that's not kitted up. Um, I do have other whips here that are kitted up and they are heaven earth designs. Um, for any of these and those ones, there's no plans for me to finish it. I just want to get some stitching on it. Uh, these are really big. Uh, this could take me a while to do. I haven't actually figured out how long it will take me to do it, but um, it will take me a while. So there's that one. And this was what it's supposed to look like. That's the mandala. It's a um, Diagon Alley. This one is my Quidditch mandala. It's from the same seller on Etsy as the Diagon Alley. So as far as I got, I've already started on it. It's the only other exception to the rule. And here's what it's supposed to look like when it's completed. Hold on. All right, let me. Oh, that's too dark. Do you see that? So that's what it's, this one's going to look like when it's done. So it has all four uh, Hogwarts House Quidditch teams with the Quidditch hoops and then center it is the Quaffle, uh, Bludgers, and Snitch. Um, so these, when I work on them, I work on them. When I don't, if I don't, I, that's fine. Um, I don't have plans to finish it. I just kind of want to keep working on them. This piece over here, that one there, um, I, I may have gone a little crazy. <laughs> if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I've been working on my Kingdom books for the last three, four years or so. Um, that's as far as I got. Um, here's what it's supposed to look like. It's a side-by-side -side comparison. 
<laughs> um, I'm still working on it. I'm having tr troubles with it. Um, struggling so bad. Um, this brand in particular, I'm having issues with it. Um, okay, the lighting is not working out. I don't know what's going on with this, but um, I'm trying to fix the lighting. It's not really working. Oh, there it goes. So this is a very lovely piece. I love the colors of the books. I love it so much. Obviously, that's the reason why I purchased it. But um, this kit, the fabrics that came inside, um, it only gives you like an inch border all the way around to work with. Uh, when you're working with quantum frames, you need more than just an inch. Uh, I happen to have this fabric in my stash, so I, I decided to use it. It's working out just fine. But um, that's not the only issue I have with it. Um, this kit does recommend you to use three strands. Um, I've never worked with three strands before, um, especially on 14 count. Well, yeah, 14 count, I always use two strands. Um, it's slowing down my stitching. It looks too clumped. Um, I'm having a lot of issues working with it. I don't like it. I don't want to stitch it anymore. The colors up here, this wood grain piece. I just had this. Come on. I know it's too bright right now, but you can kind of see it over here. Um, that's just three colors. And doing the same color over and over and over again. There we go. Um, makes me sick and tired of stitching on it, and I don't want to stitch it anymore. So with all the issues I'm having combined, um, that's why it's taking me so long to stitch it. It's because um, I, I just I don't want to stitch. It doesn't make me happy while I'm stitching it, so I don't want to stitch it anymore. So I've decided to scrap the whole thing and start all over again. Yes, I might be a little crazy, but here is my current ideas and plans for this piece. Um, I have a bolt of Ivory Ada sitting in my closet in my bedroom. Um, bolt is 10 yards, so that should be more than enough. I, I've already used it for other projects, so it's not a full 10 yards anymore. <laughs> um, but I do, I should have enough to start this all over again from scratch. Um, hopefully. <laughs> um, I'm not going to do the wood grain part on top anymore. I'm just going to leave it as an ivory color. Um, and I'm going to use two strands rather than three. I'm hoping if I go down a strand, I will hopefully have some enough to, to do the at least a blue book all over again. I'm hoping. I know this is a big um, if. <laughs> And I don't know what's going to happen exactly. Um, so I, I, I am going to, that's, that's currently what my plan is. I, I don't really know what else to say about that, but yeah. Um, if I have to, I will try to go through my DMCs. I do have a full, uh, set of DMCs. So hopefully I can find a color that will closely match if I need to. Um, but hopefully everything will come, come out. Okay. And, um, Hopefully, I don't need to go digging for for the colors. I know it's a big chance, um, and I am nervous about it. <laughs> so okay, um, now let's get into my actual goals part. So this box is my my goals. Let me get everything out. Okay. I'll probably just be flying through all this. Um, okay. So yeah, I, I will be flying through all this because um, I don't have progress to show you where when I get to this, some of them, I do have progress to show you. Um, so this, um, a lot of these are kits. 
Um, mostly that I purchased at Hobby Lobby while they're on clearance. And you'll see that. You'll see some of the stickers on there still. Um, like this one. I had to get this one. Come on now. Uh, Spring Fairy. This one I paid full price. Uh, Twilight Silhouette. One thing you'll notice a lot is I have a lot of kits and whips of coffee and tea. I love coffee. I love tea. Obviously, I'm drinking coffee right now. Um, it's gray outside and it's raining so I most likely will be drinking tea later <laughs> um, I like drinking tea and then watching Harry Potter when it rains so there's a good chance of that happening there's teas oh by the way these three kits here are all the same brand as the um, uh, Kingdom of Books so I already know with these three I'm gonna have to swap out the fabrics and um, I will be using two strands rather than three when I stitch on them. I'm hoping this one, if anything, maybe I can use the blue on here if I need it for that. Maybe. <laughs> it, if I need to, I, I'll definitely look into it. Uh, Willow Wear Classics. I love the blue plates. So pretty. Um, here is Sewing with Mama, the vintage sewing machine. Love that. Um, here is a teacup. Desserts. Um, this, okay, so this plate and saucer, I bought these years ago knowing that I, when I purchase something like this, I really do like the set. I want to complete the set. So I didn't start stitching on this right away. I was looking for the teapot because I knew there was a teapot out there. Uh, years later, I found this, which it's us. It is part of the set. It's from the same designer. Um, obviously, the packaging is a little bit different. It's the same brand. Um, but if you look carefully, closely, the borders are way different and the color is a little off. Um, this border is thicker, this line down here, compared to this. This is like five stitches uh, wide, where this one's three stitches wide on both of these. Um, the flowers on here are just different. There's a lot of them. Uh, they're a little bit bigger. There's four white spots in the middle. These are smaller, not as many of them, and they only have one spot in the middle. Um, one thing I do like about this one is the um, the stems are darker color, where the stems here are the same color. So I will be stitching these two, most likely before I stitch this, but I will definitely be looking at what the other ones are doing and try to... I will be most likely making a lot of changes to the, this one, so it matches more with these two but also incorporate some of the stuff that's on here to this one. So there's there's going to be quite a bit of changes on here. This is blue and yellow floral. This is Be Joyful. I like the colors on that bird. I don't do too many bird uh, cross stitch other than peacocks <laughs> but um, I do really like that one that looks pretty um, I can only please one person today today's not your day and tomorrow's not looking good I just I, I love that so much <laughs> um, mental of love I like the Celtic design and then I got some desserts these were all Clarence at Hobby Lobby uh, is that gonna show? The lighting is not working. Oh, there we go. This is three. Um, here is a stack of teacups because I like tea. And actually, I do like sunflowers, and I do like that. Then here are two princesses, Cinderella and Ariel. Um. I bought these, well, I've been wanting them for a while, but when I saw them on clearance, I had to buy them. When I brought them home, my daughter saw them, she claimed them. So I have to stitch them and give them to her. Go figure. <laughs> There's that. Okay. 
So this, um, lot C, I just showed you everything in there. Um, well, actually, no, there's more stuff in here. Um, but I just showed you what my goal part is. So there's other stuff in here that I'm not planning on stitching within the next two years. So I didn't show you what's in there. Oh, and for the record, there are more whips back here. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, everything back here is similar to what was in my false tube number nine uh, whip parade. Um, but these, I never kitted them up before moving to Japan. So if they're not kitted, I'm not stitching on them. But they're there if um, I need to. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out which way I want to go next. I do have these large charts. Do I just go ahead and do those? Knock that out. Um, this first one is uh, a, a chart I purchased on Etsy. It's Harry Potter book covers. I did start this. I have a tiny bit of that corner piece done, and that's it. I, I didn't do anything else, so I don't really have that much progress to show you on this. Um, well, yeah, it, it's just like maybe 20 stitches. It's not enough to want to show you, but it is a long piece of fabric. I think the fabric I'm using is 30 by 36, so um, it is going to be a long whip. Um, it is something I kitted up years ago. Um, see the everything is in there. Um, it's 100% kitted up. I will not finish this in the next two years, but definitely enough to get me started. Um, so if I stitch it, I stitch on it. Um, but if I don't finish it, that's okay. Uh, here is Mini Wisdom. I do have all five charts from the same um, artist from Heaven Earth Design. Uh, there's Wisdom, which is Ravenclaw, Cunning, which is Slytherin, Bravery, which is Gryffindor, and Loyalty, which is uh, Hufflepuff. And then there's a fifth one that says Walk Home Home, and it has the uh, Hogwarts crest. Um, so this one is the first one I'm working on. Obviously, I'm a Ravenclaw, so I had to do Ravenclaw first. Um, I kitted this up maybe two years ago, and I do have my two thread organizers there. I did start on this. That's as far as I got. Um, I recently got Pattern Keeper, so I definitely could continue stitching on this um, and get it done. I, I'm i pretty sure I 100% kit it up and I even got extra of certain uh, threads, certain colors. So I definitely could finish it if I wanted to. This piece, um, I can definitely start it. I'm not sure if I'll finish it. Um, I'm not sure if I uh, purchased enough threads for it. I haven't started it yet, but I definitely could start this in the next two years. Uh, this is Peacock Daisy. It was a freebie from Heaven Earth Designs. Um, I am working on 22 counts, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like 22 count. Um, what is that? This one I'll also be working on 22 count, Heaven Nerd Design, Ye old Kitchen. It's 100% kitted up. Um, I should have more than enough to, to finish it. I just don't know when I'll get around to it. <laughs> I have so many whips I want to work on. This one I don't have pictures to show you, but it is also a Heaven Nerd Design. It's actually the second video I uploaded on this channel. So if you want to go take a look at it, it's um, Beloved. And to be honest, I uploaded that five, six years ago. And I haven't stitched on it that much since. <laughs> um, that's as far as I got. Um, I haven't done any more than that. Uh, this is 28 Count Monaco. Um, I am stitching one over one half stitch. Um... I did purchase more than enough threads to, to finish this, especially if I'm only using one strand um, and half stitch, a tenth stitch, rather than the full cross stitch. I should have more than enough fabric or more than enough uh, floss to get it done. Um, I just need to get back to it and continue stitching it. 
Okay, so that is I have enough of that. I think just those four right there um, would keep me going for the next few years. <laughs> um, this is my box that is Plan B or um, Box B. So this is my main box, my go-to. I'll talk more about that um, in a little bit. But this one is uh, my secondary to that box. Um, I'll start from the back. Move forward. Okay, I do have two clothes kits. No, I haven't started these yet, but I do want to very, very soon. I want to do these two sooner than the whole box I have right here next to me. <laughs> so that's why this is in this box and not in that box. Um, this is small web. I can easily do it real fast. Um, I just need um, a frame to do it in. Maybe I can do it in a hoop. What's the size? I don't have a hoop that small, but I do have a frame that small. So, um, yeah, I might have to, to do it on that. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening with that. This one is a very fall themed cross stitch kit. I know it sounds weird, but I can only cross stitch things, seasonal things during that season. I cannot do this outside that season. Um, I just saw this recently in my stash and I really want to stitch on it, but for me, fall's already over with and it's already Christmas season. So because of that, I cannot stitch on this. Um, I don't know why I can't, <laughs> other than my OCD made me do it. <laughs> um, so this is gonna have to wait until next summer. It's gonna have to wait anyways because I don't have a, a thread organizer for the floss. I don't really like using those uh, floss cards. I prefer to have uh, move the threads onto an actual plastic thread organizer. So um, I'm waiting for a thread organizer. Hopefully next summer I'll start opening this up. Before I start stitching on it, I always start uh, doing the gridding and getting the, the threads ready so whenever I'm ready to stitch on it, I can just jump in and stitch. Um, I'll explain that more in detail in just a few minutes. This is my, I believe, I belong to a cross stitch nation. It's a hum, it's 99% uh, kitted up. <laughs> um, let me explain. It does call for weak style works, gentle arts, and classic color works. Um, I tried to purchase all that at my LNS before moving to Japan. Um, they had to order some of it. And most of the, the threads came in. Um, apparently, I missed one thread. I don't know how, why or whatever. Um, this does come with a DMC conversion, so I'm going to have to use that DMC conversion um, in lieu of uh, the missing thread, which that was always my plan B, was to do the DMC conversion anyways. Um, so whatever. This is Henry VIII Wives, and I did start this. This is as far as I got. This is a little bit of that corner right there, just that little um, Tudor Road. Um, this brand is the same as the Kingdom of Books, so same issues. I had to switch out the fabric. Um, I'm doing two strands um, of floss. I only have like five stitches here. That's it. That's all as far as I got. So there's not really much to show you, but this is um, key to my heart. Uh, Victorian charm. I've had this piece for a while and I really do want to stitch it. Um, I did swap out the fabric. I went to my LNS and purchased a fabric that's a little bit longer. It has Four inches, so two more inches here, two more inches there, um, just so I can get it more on the quantum frame. Um, having some issues with the gridding on it because it is a dark navy blue uh, Ada, and my um, friction pins are not showing up too well on it. Um, 
I'm going to try to do it under the lighting because this lighting that I use right here for, uh, while I'm stitching, um, it, it's a little bit different, so it's, it's it shows up a little, I don't know how to explain it, lighter, I guess. So I'm going to put this fabric underneath that light, see if it shows a little bit better, if I can see the friction. If I can see the friction pins better on that light, then I'll continue doing that. If not, I might have to go back to my um, uh, thread gridding technique, which I used years ago and talked about in a previous video. And I will show you that actually right now. <laughs> um, this is what I mean by the gridding. Um, this is how I used to grid years ago. I used to use uh, black uh, nylon thread and used to make grid lines. It would take me a whole day to stitch the whole fabric that way. Um, but that's how I started. <laughs> um, if I can't get the uh, friction pins to show up on the um, Victorian Charm fabric, I might have to go back and do the uh, thread gridding technique, but with white thread. I don't want to do that, so I'm hoping if I put the fabric underneath this light, it will show differently, and then I won't need anything else. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that turns out. Uh, this is the, another Dimensions kit. Uh, happiness is having friends and that's what this fabric is for is for this piece um my intentions was to start it eight years ago and then we moved and this is one of the kits that ended up in one of the boxes that never got unpacked and i have not seen it in like seven eight years <laughs> that's why the gridding is just so much different because um that was my style and technique back then um obviously i don't do that anymore um but yeah I, I, I need to finish it now that I found it again. Um, this is another Dimensions kit. This is Mermaid Song. I did start stitching on this before we moved to Japan. Uh, so back in Texas, I stitched on this. Um, but I only got halfway through and then I stopped. Here's another Dimensions kit. This one is Peacock Butterfly. Um, this one, I haven't seen it in almost four years. I recently found it <laughs> a week or two ago in the, um, in a box when I was looking for the Thanksgiving decorations. Um, this, I did start stitching on it. Just a few stitches. There you go. The very top row. Um, I stopped stitching on it because I had a hard time with the metallics. I do not like metallics that come in a kit. Um, so that's why I stopped stitching on it four years ago. I did purchase these uh, petite treasure braids from my LNS. I purchased in right here. I see three of these in here. I love petite treasure braids. I only use petite treasure braids now for when it comes to metallics. Um, this seems to be very close to what I used already here. I'm going to stitch on with this a little bit. If both uh, metallics look okay, look very similar, I want to keep this as is. If it looks a little off, I may have to frog this, but that's okay. It's only like 20 stitches. It's not going to be too bad to, to frog it and redo. But um, just to looking at it compared right here in person, it looks a very, very same. It looks very, very similar. So um, hopefully I don't need to frog it. And I can continue stitching on it with that. Uh, so that is the goal for this piece. Or that's the plan. Anyway. Um, this, um, I swapped out all the purple for blue. Um, I haven't started it yet, but it's all kitted up, ready to go. Um, it was a new kit, but I don't like all that purple. My favorite color is blue. So I, I decided to make this switch. This piece, actually there's three uh, charts in here. Um, all of them are kitted up. The first one is Visit Hogsmeade. They're all from the same seller, Nancy. This one is 
all aboard the Hogwarts Express. And this one's Welcome to Hogwarts. This is the only one I've started. The other two I haven't started yet. So, this is Hog or Welcome to Hogwarts. They're just like travel posters. That's as far as I got. Um, I got sick and tired of stitching all that blue, so I took a break. <laughs> Okay, I'm almost done with this box. Um, these next two kits are very similar. One is coffee and the other one is tea. Um, I like to call them brother and sister kits. Um, the tea, I just barely started. I haven't gotten too far on that. coffee I got a little bit further on. Um, I did have the coffee one with me while I was moving to Japan. I had it with me while I was in quarantine um, and forced myself to stitch on it. Um, so I, I'm almost at the halfway point. Um, I did these two while in quarantine. Um, quarantine was very emotionally difficult for me um, <laughs> mentally. Um, being stuck in a hotel room with your husband and three kids and not being able to leave the room for any reason um, was not easy. Um, everyone has to do it when they move to Japan, whether they have the vaccines or not. Um, on day 10, you get tested for COVID. I tested positive, husband and kids were all negative. So we had to go to additional, more uh, excluded quarantine. <laughs> and then uh, after 10 days, we went to a different hotel we're quarantined again for another 14 days. So all in all, we were in quarantine for 38 days. Um, that's a long time to be stuck in a small area with a husband and three kids um, in one room. Uh, the only way I was able to get away from them was to lock myself up in the bathroom. Um, so it was a bathroom. So like one door was for the shower area and the other one was for the toilet. So I went to the shower area and took a blanket and pillow <laughs> and hung out in there by myself because um, it, it was not easy for me. I love my husband and kids, but I need my personal alone time, um, which right now, this is my alone time. They're, uh, the kids are all at school and my husband's at work and I get to do my videos, I get to do my cross stitch, I get to have my quiet time. Um, when you're in a hotel, you can't really do that. Uh, your husband, kids are all right there. They're fighting. Like everyone, like you know, emotionally, everyone is drained, and they're over it. So, um, yeah, it wasn't just me. It was them too. Um, this last whip I have in this box is my what's it called? Great haul. <laughs> Um, this is a Christmas scene from uh, Hogwarts, the Great Hall at Hogwarts. This is as far as I got. Um, I do have it on the frame because with Christmas coming up and this being seasonal, I do want to stitch on it soon. I, of course, have other whips I want to do too, so that's, uh, that will be, um, I'll be working on it very, very soon. Okay. So that is it for box number, or box B, box A. Um, before I talk to you about box A, I just want to quickly point out that all my quantum frames, um, I have six of them. All of them are different size. No two um, are the same size. The only thing that's the same size is the um, these little stretcher bars. Um, I have three of these, two of the smaller one, and one of the super large, um, which is sitting back here right now. <laughs> um, one other uh, quantum frame is also back here. Um, but yeah, I have a total of six quantum frame sets. All of them are being used. There's a whip on every single one of them. I also have this one. I'm not sure what it's called, but I have two of these. Um, and then I have about a dozen or so hoop frames. 
most of them have a project. Uh, the hoop frames, right now I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six projects on hoop frames. The reason why I have so many whips ready to go is because often I just kind of, uh, my mood changes. I don't want to stitch on something, but I want to stitch. So I always have something in the wing ready to go at all times. Um, so I have this project here. This is my, my next one I'm going to work on. I should finish Tinkerbell within an hour or two. As soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to be working on this one. It's a bell pull. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to complete it, but I definitely want to start it. It's going to be a kind of small stitch. It's only going to be like that wide. Um, it's not too big. Um, over there, I have a kit that I'll show you in just a second. Uh, but when I'm done with that and I'm ready to move on, I have another whip here and another whip here and another whip here so I can continue stitching and I don't have to stop in between. I don't have to abruptly uh, um, stop to get something ready. Everything in this box 100% ready to go. Um, it's They're on frames or hoops. The threads are in thread organizers. Um, the charts are either in the bag or I have my laptop over here um, and it's already on PDF. Um, for a lot of my, my charts I get on Etsy or PDFs or Heaven to Earth Designs are all PDF. Either I use a Foxit app or I use Pattern Keeper and I use that. Um, so everything in this box I can stitch right now in like two seconds. Um, just swap out the frame. Um, swap out the hoop. Um, over in my stitchy spot, I do have my Cake Creation lap stand, and I do have this piece on here, on there right now. Um, I'm not going to show it to you because it's kind of hard to see. It's off-white on white Ada. It's just this part right here. Uh, once I get closer to the bow and ears, I will swap out the fabric and put it onto a quantum frame. Um, it's going to take some time to do that, especially that I'm not, um, currently actively stitching on it. Um, some of these I don't have pictures to show you, so I'm going to have to just verbally tell you uh, what they are, what they look like, or what they should look like when they're completed. Um, this one says, um, or this one, there's two charts from the same seller on Etsy. Both of them are sayings from the Bridgerton series on Netflix. Um, I haven't read the books. So I don't know if the sayings are also from the books, but one of them says, we should attempt scandal more often. And the other one says, we should do what women do, we should talk. Both of them are just like nice um, cursive letters with a flower design on top and on the bottom. So it's like really cutesy. <laughs> um, both of them use similar colors for the flowers and stuff. So um, it's all in one bag. I can't show you because it's just a chart. Um, but I have everything ready to go. Um, I just need to start stitching on it. This one, I don't have a picture to show you either. It just says zero days since our last nonsense. It's um, something from the office. So something I'm planning to stitch off for my husband. This one I can show you. This is the Trovia Stitchy Sash. Most of these, especially if the, the pages are folded, um, I brought them on the plane with me. I had them in the suitcase or my carry-on. Um, I fold them to, to cut down the space um, in the bags. So most of these, that's why, why it's like that and why I have them here. Oh, this one I don't have a picture to show you. It's a coffee cup and it says, I need you to be strong right now. Me to coffee. Um, this one is Ravenclaw, cover probe. I am the Ravenclaw stitcher. That is for me. <laughs> Um, this is a shelf, kitchen shelf. I love blue. I love this so much. It has a blue plates. It has uh, the little teacups, teapots. This one, may the frost be with you, Star Wars coffee. Uh, this one, I don't have a picture to show you, but it is a Dolly Mama. That reminds me. I do have about two dozen Dolly Mamas um, that are part of my goals, 
but I don't have them here to show you. Um, the packaging for Dolly Mom is like really big and bulky. So years ago, I decided to throw out the packaging um, just to cut down on space. Um, so I don't have any pictures to show you what it looks like, but most Dolly Mamas are very similar. It's like a slender lady holding up a sign saying something sassy. So this one, she says, bite me. <laughs> um, so all of them are kind of similar to that. Um, I have about 12 uh, or so here that I do plan on doing. Um, you'll see them from time to time if I finish them or um, my Facebook page. Yeah, I'm going to plug in my Facebook page right here. Uh, Ravenclaw Stitcher on Facebook. Um, it used to be called uh, Fast Forward Stitcher because that was my name when I first started this channel. Um, but yeah, both both names are still me. Um, I do have a lot of pictures of my progress and my whips um, all on that chat on that page. So if you want to go check that out, I'll put a link in the description box below. Um, this is a kit that I started a while ago. That's what it looks like, and this is how far I got. Um, I stopped doing this years ago for a couple reasons. One is um, this fabric is very, very soft. It's Oatmeal Ada. I've never worked with Oatmeal Ada before, so I don't know if it's just this particular piece or if all Oatmeal Adas are like this. Um, it did start fraying really, really bad. Um, I was working on a Q-Snap at the time. I don't work with Q-Snaps anymore. Um, and it kept like, the fabric kept like slipping off. Um, I had some, several issues with it. So I put it on pause for a while. Um, this past week I did put fray check on all the edges and it seems to be working okay for now. So I'm gonna attempt to start stitching on this soon. Um, this bag has three whips, all from the same seller on Etsy. Um, I only have pictures of two of them to show you. There's game spots. And this is Snowmageddon 2021. Um, I do have Dumpster Fire 2020, all from the same seller on Etsy. And here's my belt pull. I showed you the fabric already on of this one. So this is what it looks like. It has butterflies, it has blue teacups, um, pink roses, everything that I love. My favorite color, my favorite flower. Um, I love butterflies. Uh, I love tea. I do have a collection of teacups and teapots, um, actual pots. <laughs> um, I, I do have a collection of them. Um, and I kind of collect weird, unique ones. So everything that I love in one uh, whip. Okay. I think that is it. I went through everything. Yay. Um, so this box here is my box A. So everything here is 100% ready to go. I can swap it out anytime when I want to switch to something else. This is my plan B. Um, this stuff needs to go on frames. Um, it's 100% kitted up uh, on some kind of thread organizer. And I it might take me a minute or two to get it uh, ready to stitch on. Everything in this box, um, I'm gonna focus on these later. My goal is to try to finish all this within the next six months um, and then finish this within a year after this box. I have one, two, uh, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I have 17 whips in this box. And yes, I did say six months to stitch this. A lot of these are small. They're not full covered. This used to be in that box. I finished this in a day. Okay. So far this year, this is my number 14 finished for this year. Finished. I have a ton of starts. <laughs> um, that's going to be my number 15 finished for the year. Um, this is 17. I can totally, absolutely, 100% do all this this year. Um, so we'll see how far I actually get. 
Um, I am, I'm, I'm about 90% sure that I can finish this in six months. Okay. This, to say in a year after this, um, I think that's something I can totally absolutely do. Um, these whoops are a little bit bigger. This, most of this here is stuff I brought with me to stitch on. So there, I purposely picked smaller whips. I purposely picked some of them with fewer colors, um, not full coverage, and I know I can do all that real fast. This, a lot, some of it is full coverage. Um, some of it has more than uh, 30 colors. Um, the fabrics for all these are much larger. Um, so I, that's why I think this will take me a little bit longer to do. But, um, yeah, that is my goal, but that is my plans. I am very, very curious uh, uh, two years from now when I come back and do another uh, whip parade to show you how far I got on most of these. I'm very curious on how much I actually completed. Um, I can't wait. Um, if somehow, miraculously, I finish box A, box B, and box C, I do have a plan D, which um, I don't know if you can see my cone back here. It's a black DMC cone. I have a lot of whips that are back here and also in my external hard drive that require a lot of black DMCs. A lot of them, um, I have about 20 or so uh, stained glass cross-stitch pieces. Um, one is Harry Potter. I have another one I'm not sure if I'm going to buy yet. That's another Harry Potter one. Um, there's one that's Mario and then about 25 or so that are Disney. <laughs> And one is Game of Thrones. So um, all those do require a uh, black DMC to do all the little lines in there. If anything, if I finish somehow all these, I can always go and start doing those. Um, so I don't have to purchase too many new DMCs. Um, so my goal is to stitch all this, not having to buy any more DMCs, uh, work on everything that's already kitted up, or work on kits themselves, um, I don't plan to buy any more kits soon. Um, the two places I found that sell DMCs, they both do sell kits. Uh, one sells Dimensions, the other one sells DMC kits. Um, none of them really caught my eye. It's not something I would typically stitch on, so I do not plan to stitch on, or I do not plan to purchase any more kits. Um, so buying kits, won't be an issue. Buying charts on Etsy, if I find any that I have to have, especially if it's Harry Potter related, like these mandalas, I couldn't resist. Even though they're $18 a piece, um, I think that was a lot, but um, I couldn't resist it. I had to purchase both of them. <laughs> so anything outside of something like that, um, I probably won't purchase. Um, so I can try to my best to focus on just these items here. Now to get to stitching. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching and subscribing and uh, following me on um, not only this channel, um, but also on Facebook. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, you can always ask in the comments in the description or in the comments below. Um, I will have links in the description box to my Facebook page. If you have questions that's a little more time sensitive, Go to my Facebook page and DM me there. Um, sometimes YouTube doesn't tell me when I have a, a comment on my video, but if you uh, send me a message on Facebook, I will get every single message. So um, that might be best way to get a hold of me. Uh, I think I'm done. I th I'm going to get back to stitching. I really want to finish Tinkerbell. She's so close to being finished. Um, I can't wait. I am doing timeouts videos, so I have one time lots of videos that's ready to upload. Um, I need to do the editing for these two videos. Um, anything else I do in the future here, I will be doing time lapse videos and that will be all on this channel. Um, I'm not gonna flood the channel with all the videos at once. I'm gonna release one um, every week or two. Um, yeah, uh, plus two videos. This will be my last one for the year for 2020. Um, I may do a video in the beginning of next year, but honestly, um, I want to focus more on stitching. Uh, to do flossy videos, it takes me like two or three days of trying to record. Um, I don't know how to do editing. 
<laughs> so I just have to stop and then start all over again. So that all takes time and um, I'd rather be stitching than doing that because um, that's where my passion is. That's where my love is. Um, I, I do enjoy doing time-lapse videos. Those are so much easier for me to edit. Uh, I mentioned it before in a previous video. Uh, this camera came with editing software, but only works for videos from that camera. I can't use that software for this video or anything else like that because um, it tweaks with it weirdly, and um, I don't know how to fix that or adjust to anything, so I'm not going to attempt to do that. Um, so I do know how to edit these videos right um just not this video <laughs> uh one day one day maybe um if i ever end up making money on youtube so far i'm nowhere near making any money on youtube this whole channel is 100 percent sponsored by my husband um because i don't work <laughs> um i just do youtube videos that's all i do um and i don't make any money off of it so um everything you see me purchased here um uh, all of it 100 percent came from my husband um, so I'm just going to give him all that credit. Um, he knows. He pays my bills. He knows what's going on. Um, so yeah, I think that is it. So I'm going to get back to stitching. And I hope you guys are doing well and getting a lot of stitching done. And I guess until next time, happy stitching. Bye.